Navjit Singh Sidhu hugs Pakistan Army Chief Kamar Jade Bajwa. Navjit Singh Sidhu hugs Pakistan Army Chief Kamar Jade Bajwa, sits near Pak President at Tim Khan's swearing in ceremony. Navjit Singh Sidhu was spotted chatting happily with Pak Army Chief Jan Bajwa at the President House in Islamabad. Cricketer turned politician Navjit Singh Sidhu, who had claimed that he will visit Pakistan as a goodwill ambassador, was clicked giving a warm hug to the neighbouring country's Army Chief General Kamar J. Bajwa ahead of Imran Khan's swearing in ceremony. According to media reports, Sidhu, the Congress Member of Parliament, was received by Jan Bajwa and other top officials at the President House in Islamabad the venue of Imran Khan's swearing in ceremony. The two exchanged pleasantries and were seen chatting happily before the start of the event. Navjit Singh Sidhu meets Pakistan Army Chief General Kamar J. Bajwa at Hash Imran Khan's oath-taking ceremony in Islamabad. While the swearing in ceremony was underway, Sidhu was spotted sitting next to President of Pakistan occupied Kashmir, Pak, Masood Khan in the front row. Islamabad, Navjit Singh Sidhu was seated next to President of Pak Masood Khan at Imran Khan's oath ceremony. The disturbing images of Sidhu giving a warm hug to Jan Bajwa the man who is widely believed to be behind the recent surge in cross-border infiltrations and attack on security forces and civilians in Jammu and Kashmir, is likely to trigger a massive outrage upon his return to the country. Development is also likely to come as a big embarrassment to his Congress party. He is a responsible person and a minister. Only he can answer, but yes, he could have avoided this, Ghulam Ahmed Mir, J and K Congress chief said when quizzed by reporters. He is a responsible person and a minister. Only he can answer, but yes, he could have avoided this, Ghulam Ahmed Mir, J and K Congress Chief on Navjit Singh Sidhu seated next to Pak President Masood Khan at Imran Khan's oath ceremony and beside Sidhu, Kapil Dev and Sunil Gavaskar were also reportedly invited to Imran Khan's swearing in ceremony but they decided to skip the event. Sidhu, reacting to the controversy over his decision to attend the event, said that he will go to Pakistan as the goodwill ambassador. However, he was not officially sent to Pakistan as goodwill messenger and, instead, went there in his individual capacity. I respect the foreign policy of the government and the country, but this is a personal invitation, he said, adding that sportspersons and artists break barriers. Reacting to this, be the JAP leader Subramani and Swami launched massive attack on Sidhu and said that he was mentally stable. The be the JAP veteran went on to say, even if Sidhu goes to Pakistan, it will hugely affect his political career. People will think him a traitor and will never forgive him. Imran Khan was earlier sworn in as Pakistan's new Prime Minister at a simple ceremony at the President House in Islamabad. Imran Khan takes oath as the 22nd Prime Minister of Pakistan at the President House in Islamabad. Khan, 65, the chairman of the Pakistan Tehrikians, PTI, was administered the oath of office by President Mamnoon Hussain at a simple ceremony held at the Awani Sadr, the President House, in Islamabad. The ceremony commenced with the national anthem, followed by recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. 
clad in a black sherwani, Khan was seen little nervous as he faced difficulties in pronouncing some Urdu words during the oath. Khan, who famously captained the national cricket team to World Cup glory in 1992, also invited some of his former teammates to witness his formal ascension to the top ministerial job in the country. Pakistan Army Chief General Kamar Jave Bajwa, cricketer Navjit Singh Sidhu, cricketer turned commentator Amis Raja, legendary paceman Wazim Akram, Punjab Assembly Speaker Chaudhry Pravezilai, singer Salman Ahmed, Abar Al Haq, actor Javed Sheikh, former National Assembly Speaker Dr. Fahmida Mirza, Khan's third wife Bushra Manka were among those who attended the oath taking ceremony. The Oxford-educated PTI chief had on Friday defeated his only rival and Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz chief Shahbaz Sharif in a one-sided election for the top post in the National Assembly. Khan secured 176 votes while Sharif got 96 votes. A total of 172 votes in the 342-member lower house of parliament are needed to form a government. In his first address to parliament, Khan had vowed to act against those who looted Pakistan. I promise my nation today that we will bring the change that this nation was starving for, Khan said yesterday after winning the election. We have to hold strict accountability in this country, the people who looted this country, I promise that I will work against them, he vowed. The money that was laundered, I will bring it back, the money that should have gone towards health, education, and water, went into people's pockets, Khan said. Khan, who described Pakistan's founder Muhammad Ali Jinnah as his hero, has promised to transform corruption affected Pakistan into an Islamic welfare state. He has the support of smaller parties including Mutahida Kwami movement with seven seats, Balochistan Awami Party 5, Balochistan National Party 4, Pakistan Muslim League 3, Grand Democratic Alliance 3, Awami Muslim League and Jay Mori Waitan Party one seat each. The PTI emerged as the single largest party with 116 seats in July 25 elections. Its number increased to 125 after nine independent members joined it and final tally reached 158 after it was allotted 28 out of 60 seats reserved for women and 5 out of 10 seats reserved for minorities. Khan's upcoming government will be the third consecutive democratic government in Pakistan since 2008 when military ruler General Pervez Mushraf announced elections after serving as president from 2001 to 2008 following a bloodless coup in 1999. The PPP formed the government in 2008 followed by the PMLN led by jailed former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif in 2013.